Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to simulate the process of sending and receiving short messages, or you can say SMS. Basically, what we're doing is to implement a fake SMSC program, send a message to the SMSC, and run a program that receives a message. Here's the basic theory behind it. I have a phone, and my phone number is 1234. Now I'll write a message to 5678. The content is Hello, I send out a message, the SMSC will receive it. And the SMSC then send out a message to the 5678. Of course, there are a whole lot more going on in between the process, but we are not going to discuss it in this tutorial, because it's not our focus. Later on, we are going to simulate the SMSC program. We are also simulating the sender and the receiver. Alright, let's look at the final result of the simulation. Now we have three computers. The first one is SMCC, the second is sender, and the third is our local computer, which contains the receiver. Now let's start with the SMSC. The SMSC is simulated with SMPP SIM, which is developed by Logica. And we can start the program now by double clicking on the start SMPP SIM and the program is running so far so good now let's connect the sender to the SMSC our sender is here open up the browser and we need to type the address so we need the IP address of the SMSC we can find it by simply going to the command line and type IP config we can see the IP address here, let's type it into our browser of the sender. Okay, here that's our IP address, and this is the port. When we click on the inject an MO message, we can go to a message editing area like this. And later on, we're going to write our SMS. And now, let's run our receiver program. It's in our Eclipse on our local machine and let's run it okay the program is starting and our program is already connected to the SMSC SMPP SIM means the SMSC and now let's send a message to our receiver Oops. and let's send hello SMPP SIM. Suppose that we're sending from the number 1234 and sending it to 5678. Let's send our message. Okay, we can see in our receiver that a new message received. The message is from 1234, it's sent to 5678. The content is hello SMPP. Let's send one more. This time let's say hi or hola and ABCD. Okay, let's send it to 0000, and let's send a message. We can also receive in our receiver a message. Hi, hola, ABCD to 0000. Okay, that's it, our simulation. Later on, we're going to learn the configuration of the SMSC, as well as the sender and the receiver. By the way, when you're doing the simulation, you can put all those three programs into one computer. Now, let's get an SMPP simulator first. Let's go to the browser. Let's do a search in Google. And let's type SMPP SIM download. Here is it. Okay, we can get the SMPP SIM from this page simply by clicking the downloads SMPP in zip format. I clicked it. Okay, let's click the download icon here. The download starting. Yes, done. Okay, the next thing will be the SMS receiver. It's in my GitHub page. 
I'll give you the link in the description below. Here we go. And you can clone or download. And I'm going to download it zip. And download soon start. Okay, it's, a, it's downloading. Okay, it's finished. Let's unzip the SMPP SIM first. And you can unzip it with any kind of tool you like. This is my SMPP SIM. And, and I'm also going to unzip the SMS receiver here. Okay, let's start the SMPP SIM. And this is a folder which contains the SMPP SIM. And let's open up the start SMPP SIM here. Okay, it's working as expected. And I'm going to authorize the access. And now let's also open up the SMS sender here in the browser. It will be localhost at the port 88. Here we go. And click on the inject an MO message. This is the message editing area. Okay, finally let's set up the receiver of the SMS. In Eclipse, here is my Eclipse. I'm using the Eclipse Mars. It's still loading. Not this one. Now we are import the Java project. First clicking on the file and import. Let's navigate to the project we've just downloaded. I mean the SMS receiver. It's supposed to be in the download folder. The download folder should be in the user and download this one. All right, there is a project. We can import it. We can finish by clicking on the finish. Here we've got our project. And let's expand it and find out the source code. Here's our source code. Let's open it up. Before running the project, we need to make sure the configuration is correct. Like the IP address and the system ID and the password. The IP address should be the IP address of the SMSC. We can find out the IP address with the command line. Like IP config. There we go. This is our IP address. So we need to change it here. Our IP address is 10.0.2.15. The system ID, password, and the port are specified in the configuration file of the SMPP SIM. Here is our SMPP SIM folder. And let's go to the conf, configuration folder. We're going to open the property file. Here, that's the port number. Let's copy it and paste it here. Let's also find out the system ID and the password from the config file. We can search using the control and F. Let's type system ID. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, we've got our system ID. Here, we have a few options of system IDs. If our system ID is client, one, then the password should be password. If our system ID is SMPP client 2, the password will also be password. Okay, let's say our system ID is client 1. Let's copy it. And let's paste it here. And the password should be password. Okay, we'll finish with the configuration. Let's save the file and run the program. We right click on the class and run as Java application. 
Okay, our program is running as expected, and let's try send some messages. We send this, we send this message, the from number will be 1, 2, 2, submit message, I've got the message. That's it for the tutorial, I hope it helps. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.